Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin and today I have a really weird video for you. Like I saw this product. This is the shade shifting blush in the shade zombie blush by wet n wild it looks like this and i found this on wet n wild nope that's a lie i found this on alta's website i never heard of it i haven't seen anybody talk about it and i thought it would make a fun video so i picked it up i haven't swatched it yet like i have pre-opened it because i suck at opening packaging so i did pre-open it but there is no swatch marks it is brand new but I really thought it would be fun to try this out because it says it's a blush so yeah let's just go ahead and put it on the face I think I I don't know if I want to swatch it first or not I think I'm gonna not swatch it but in the pan it looks like one of those eyeshadows that goes like blue to brown to green shades if you know what I mean they have like a shift to them let's see if I can it's gonna be weird for a second but yeah can you see that like gold shift to it almost Ooh. sorry about the weirdness of that angle but I wanted to show you that shift and now I like messed everything up and this is off so that's cute okay so yeah that's really sparkly so I hope that doesn't transfer too much but I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my cheeks it's probably gonna be a pretty short video but yeah I'm using this brush this is a Pointed blush brush by Amoda Pro. There's no product on there. There is like a color to it, but it's just because I've used it so many times, it is clean. So let's just blend two in there. Okay, it looks like nothing came up. Um, okay, now it's got like a green shift to it. So let's just go for it. Oh, weird. You guys see that? It's pink. <laughs> it's really pink. Oh my gosh. That's real pink. Yeah, even the brush is like turning pink. Okay, so let's go lighter. And try to blend this out. That's so pink. That's crazy. My mind is blown right now. It's green in the pan. It's got like a gold blue shift to it. And it's going on my face pink. Like weirdly pink. I don't think I like that color. Ooh. <laughs> I think I ruined my makeup, you guys. Okay, so it kind of looks really bad. Like, almost bloody. Does that make sense? Maybe that's what it's supposed to do, because it is zombie blush. It is part of their, like, Halloween collection. I'm gonna take... Let's swatch it. Okay, so... Yeah, like... When you swatch it, it's still that green shade. Let's see. What? I'm so confused right now. Do you guys see this? It's green, but on my face it's pink. Like, let's blend it out. <laughs> it's blending out pink. It's really muddy looking though. This is crazy, you guys. Like, my mind is just a bit, and that looks like a bruise. Not flattering. So, you can see my fingerprint in there now. So it's not flattering, but it is really cool. Um, it'd be really pretty for like a Halloween. Like, I'm gonna try to save this and make it like, kinda cute. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D shade and like palette, and I'm gonna pick up a brush just to go with this guy and I'm gonna take like the like, white lightest white shade into in here and kind of like go over it just to try to like tame it down and see if that's gonna help anything or if I ruin this look yeah that's helping this side looks so much worse than the other side does that help that helped Ooh, I almost dug into the contour shade. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this medium shade too. There we go. Lightening that up. Kind of took away my highlight, but it's actually kind of pretty now. So now I'm gonna go back into that blush with like the lightest hand, and I'm actually gonna use this same brush. I was just no, actually we're gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna use this little guy because it's a smaller brush, and I'm just gonna like one dip in there and just kind of like try to get it exactly where I want it 
because it is super pigmented. And over here. It's so cool. So I am digging this product. I don't like the way it looks on my skin tone per se, but it's so fun that I'm willing to overlook that. I'm trying to find my highlight because I took away my highlight with the powder, so I need to like add more. Um, but there we go. Such a bomb highlight. It's not even really an eye highlight. It's actually an eyeshadow, but I use it for a highlight all the time. It is the Corez eyeshadow in the shade white I think it's just called yeah it's just called white it's this little guy right here if you're wondering what my highlight is and I just applied that's what it is I love this highlight okay back to the point of this video like that's so crazy to me that looks disgusting it looks like a bruise this would be really fun for Halloween like if you were a zombie or something that needed a bruise like a I don't know, anything beaten. <laughs> I think this would be fun for that. But otherwise, I would not wear it. Except for, like, the way I'm wearing it now is not bad. With some powder over it and a very light hand, it's definitely wearable. Um, I feel like it'd be prettier on a darker skin tone. Because it does have, like, a dark undertone to it. So on a darker skin tone, it might look semi-normal. Like, not as bruisey as it does on me, but... Yeah, if you have a darker skin tone and you try this out, let me know what you think about it. Let's talk about the packaging real quick because I don't think we did that. Um, it does look like this. It looks like it has a zombie bite on it and it says limited edition. And on the back it's just like this. Pretty basic. But yeah, this is really fun, you guys. Um, if you haven't done so already, I would pick this up just to play with it. It's cheap, it's wet and wild, and it's a lot of fun. So yeah. Let me know down below if you tried this on your skin tone, what skin tone you have, and what you thought of it. And that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like this video if you want to see more videos like this where I try random weird products out. And if you haven't done so already, then subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.